the mayor of Whistler, uh, Ken Mellerman, please take Thank the stage. You. Thank you, Elsa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty and fellow sustainability leaders. It is indeed a great honor for me to have been invited back and participate in this important session uh, made possible by Natural Step International. Uh, Whistler has developed a collaborative model for success using a comprehensive long-term approach to creating and moving towards a more sustainable future. The natural step has been the primary tool for developing a common language and a clear, communicable, a, a, a clear communicable approach to reaching these ends. The Whistler community has continued to accelerate our journey towards sustainability in the last year, and we've achieved some significant successes. We're particularly overjoyed at the uptake across the country in Canada in other Canadian communities who have benefited and learned from our experience and believe that Canada has much to thank for the work of Dr. Robert and the Natural Step teams. So a little bit of review for those who didn't hear last year. Uh, who, what is Whistler? Whistler has, for the last 10 or so years, been the number one ski destination in North America. For the last five years, we've been the number one mountain bike park destination in the world. And I like to say now, our third claim to fame is the leader, a leading sustainability community in, in, in North America. We were the first community in North America to have adopted a natural step framework. So it was, it was kind of a departure from what I'm hearing today where industry has been a leader globally uh, and in many countries. In Canada, we've started at the local community and the local government level. We're very proud of that. We're a, a small community of about 9,500 permanent residents, but uh, back above our average, as they say. We have about 2.2 million visitors a year and now summer visits exceed uh, winter visits. We represent about 10% of BC's tourism economy, $1 billion a year. And we're a year-round resort, as I mentioned, and uh, we continue to work within uh, our successful model, because being a leader, but also now applying sustainability. Our long-term sustainability vision called Worcester 2020 is an expression of our descriptions of success and implementation plan and a platform for monitoring and tracking our progress. We've incorporated the foundational tools of TNS into this highest level policy at every level. Whistler's vision statement is to be the premier mountain resort community as we move towards sustainability. And my desire as mayor is to demonstrate how our resort will continue to thrive by adhering to our vision and our rigorous TNS guide commitment to sustainability. Potentially our biggest successes have been the incorporation of sustainability into the planning and delivery of the Vancouver 2010 and Paralympic Winter Games. This collaborative success could not have been achieved in the absence of our Whistler 2020 long-term vision, which articulated so clearly our absolute commitment to these values. The collaboration of Bannock, that's the organizing committee for the 2010 Games, has resulted in their stated goals to a games which are guided by significant sustainability commitments. We're calling them the sustainability games, if you will. They include commitments to carbon neutrality, zero waste, social inclusivity, and fiscal responsibility. A prominent role has been given to the four host First Nations on whose territory the games will take place. They have realized significant benefits. Vanock has implemented sustainable purchasing policies, reduced the size of many of the venues, and set lead silver minimum targets for all venue buildings. Our shared desire is that the directions taken by Vanock, with Vancouver and Whistler will influence other partners and set a new standard for the hosting of the games. And to use the global exposure, three billion new eyes on Whistler and Vancouver. This is our primary opportunity for the games to tell the sustainability story to three billion people as well as to show the world the great games. As a local government, this year we adopted bylaws for pesticide control, anti-idling, and First Nations land agreements. And we've adopted community policies for carbon neutrality, protected areas, and green building. We're near completion of a partnership with both First Nations on a community forest operation, which will be based on eco-forestry principles and recognize Aboriginal cultural values. The same First Nations will open a spectacular new cultural center in Whistler this summer. Of the many legacies from the 2010 Games, specifically I'll, I'll share with you a little bit about our Olympic and Paralympic Village. 
The application of sustainability design began with the choice of location, which avoided sprawl, included brownfield remediation, and netted about a $10 million gift of land from the provincial government. The location precipitated the closing and capping of our landfill, and methane gas is now captured and available as an energy source. With a diverse mix of 350 units, 90% will be non-market, providing much needed accommodation for employees. New park and playing fields will be built on top of the old landfill. And the neighborhood will be connected to numerous multi-use trails. They had hoped that when you see the image of the Athletes Village during the games in 2010, it will come alive for you just a little bit more than just an Athletes Village with a 27-day purpose. Clearly, we have visioned out well into the future to leverage this opportunity for ourselves. Thank you again for your time, Your Majesty, and I look forward one day to welcoming you all to our wonderful resort community in the Coast Mountains of British Columbia. Thanks again.